Hello everyone. So today we'll be looking for a code to create a website. To create this website, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is a HTML code for the initial page. That is the main page which opens when the site is loaded. So in this page, the first one is the document setup. For that, I have used the doc type as HTML, which defines the document as an HTML5 document. Then comes the HTML lang equal to en, which sets the language of the document to English. Then comes the head tag. Inside the head tag, I have mainly given the title. The title is Academia Online, as this website is made for an online tuition platform, which is academia online then comes the link tag which is used to link the style sheet or css the name of the file is style.css after the head tag comes the body tag inside the body tag i have given the header the header is named as fixed header is named use class in the header section it contains a logo, the title and a navigation bar. The class equal to fixed header indicates that the header will stay fixed at the top of the page when it is scrolled. The navigation bar, that is a nav tag, includes links to different sections of the page. Then comes the first section of the page, that is home. Inside this home section, the ID name is home. It contains introductory text and a link to another page. A A tag is styled as a button for exploration. Then comes the next section that is about us. In the about us section, it provides information about the institution, its mission and vision. It includes links to another pages with additional information. Then comes the course section. Inside the course section, it lists the courses offered, categorized by grade. Each course in includes the subjects covered and a brief description. Then comes the fee sec uh, section. In the fee section, it displays the fee structure in a table format. It also includes a note about the potential changes in the fee. Then comes the last section that is contact us. In the contact us section, there's a contact form that collects the user's name, email and message. The form data is set, uh, sent to submit.php using the post method. Then comes the footer. Inside the footer, I have given a copyright notice. Then comes the script tag, which is used to link JavaScript to the HTML. The name of the file is script.js. Then I have closed the body tag and the HTML. Now there is a style sheet or the CSS file for the same page. Over here it is styling each element. Now the styling for the body, the styling for the header, styling for logo, so on like uh, styling for the header text styling, navigation styling, section styling, footer styling, again the navigation styling, then the home section styling then uh, the button styling then comes the course styling then fee section styling and the contact styling over here you can see a code which is commented this code is used to ensure that the website is responsive that is 
whether we open this website in laptop or in mobile phone the screen will be the same or the screen will be adjusted I didn't use this code for my uh, website instead I have used some simple techniques in the website in the code that is I have made sure that I have used a margin as 0, padding 0 and box sizing as border box which helps to ensure consistent box sizing across different elements and devices. Then I have used the display flex for the header. The use of flex layout in the header makes it adaptable to different screen sizes. After that I have used the background size cover and background position as center. This ensures the background image scales well on different screens. Then the buttons are styled with flexible properties that ensure they look good on different screens. So these changes will make a website look same whether it's opened in a laptop or in a smartphone. This is the JS file or the JavaScript file for the same website. Over here, it helps us to change the color of the text when the cursor enters the link. And the other one is to pin the header when the website is scrolled down. Now the additional websites or the navigated websites are shown over here. There are five external pages and there are CSS files and JavaScript files. Now let's see the website. 